Real world flags follow strict geometrical patterns, at least often. You see here the classical example of the French flag, and it has three vertical bands that each take up one third of the width. Another example is the flag of Germany. You have three horizontal bands, each taking up one third of the height. So these are probably the most common patterns, but you can see more complex ones. So for example, the flag of Catalonia with many more bands, with Greece, or like Latvia, with an unequal distribution of the bands. You can get to these designs easily by using our grid feature. So let's take Belgium, for example. We have activated the grid. You can already see, I hope, with your resolution in YouTube that you can see. I can promise uh, the grid is here. Um, two lines. And um, I will adjust it now to three lines and now rows. So when we remove it, we see here the, the two helping lines. We can do this for horizontal bands as well, like here for the flag of Bolivia. We activate the rows, deactivate the columns, and you can see here the two helping lines for the grid. Let's go for something more complex, like the flag of Greece. You see we have several horizontal bands here. And we can achieve that by adding them. You see here the, the overlaps. And now it's perfect. So we can remove it and you see all the lines here. So the good thing is when you add something here, it will snap. So you can just move this one and snap it to here. Um, then it's best to copy it because then it will have the exact same size. Copy it again, again. So, and then um, so that we don't have anything in the middle uh, in between the spaces that is um, visible, I would suggest using it like this, so moving it then to the background so that um, it is adjusted. So here we can then vertically space them evenly and align them all to the left. Now they should have all the same, um, the, the same space so that it looks perfect. You can use other grids as well. So diagonals, for example, you can, um, it, let's take this one here, for example, so this is kind of a no-brainer because it's uh, exactly the uh, format of the of the flag of the whole flag space already but uh, let's add some more here and you will see that it's different story now and here you can adjust this one to this space so and then you copy it and move it here to the border completely down so yeah so you can imagine many more designs you can add columns borders what not so sometimes you have something in the, the top of a flag like with the flag of the United States. So and then you would follow 
some geometrical rule here as well. So you see it's like one third here and it is four nine here. It still looks good, but it's the important thing is the height is not random, but it is a fixed geometrical rule so that it pleases pleases the eye. You can play this game with a grid with all the items on the flag, so where to position your stars, how large your circles are, etc. etc. But the more aligned your flag is or the, the elements on your flags are, um, the better it looks. So you might not notice immediately what the geometrical pattern of your flag is, but I can promise you that unconsciously we as humans notice what is balanced and what is not. I hope this grid feature helps you to build better flags. If you like this video, if you want to have more tips on how to design your flags with Flag Creator, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Have fun.